So what's happening, AJ? Got a flat tire. Calling in, calling in another one. <laughs> How long is it going to last? AJ runs on AJ time, so <laughs> late is early. I'm never complaining about the cold again. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is definitely better than Minnesota. I'd rather be hot than frozen. We're about 100 degrees warmer than uh, Minnesota. That's a, no, we're more than 100. More than 100, yeah. It was negative 50. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> we, we got about a 140 point swing right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm still racing. Right. Hey, good. Good luck, brother. Big man Ty, what's up, brother? What's up? <laughs> how's everybody doing? <laughs> so how's the healing process going? It's going really good, actually. As you guys can see, I am walking. Yeah. I'm super stoked to be off crutches and everything. So, really stoked. Um, I still got about two more months um, until I can ride again, but... Uh, just gonna be kind of yeah. doing some light cardio just on the bicycle, the taking it easy, just letting everything heal. But as of right now, everything is doing spectacular. So super stoked. Million dollar smile and the million dollar boots. There it is. What are you thinking, Ty? Do you like them? Are they big enough? Right now, they look great. But <laughs> I like the ones last weekend, too, at track walk. And then in the race, I didn't like them at all. So. Yeah, just keep an open mind and see how they go. 
fast pounds. <laughs> that makes a big difference. No, I mean, they're going fast. I don't want to make any faster. If he twists the throttle to the stopper, it works. Last night, we, last night we shipped that one back and brought the 500 out. So. No, I, yeah, we're good then. <laughs> yeah, we're good. <laughs> well, that was the first, like I was watching, like I mean, I guess they're all pretty little dudes. Osborne's just like, Up. yeah, like, and that you're like, like yeah. stretching. Yeah. Yeah. So like, hey, I just sounds like flat to me. Yeah. 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 The camera dude, I thought he was a like, I just thought he was over at SLS. He lives in Oh, he does? Yeah, but he actually does like a. being a pro mechanic at this level man this is not a normal job it's it's I, I want to say I mean it's it's stressful at times but that's not how I describe it man it's you play with dirt bikes that's really what it is you get to hang out with some really cool dudes go some really cool places and just have fun it's it's something new and a lot of people don't get to do this so I'm, I'm really lucky that I ended up where I am and get to do what I do so can't complain Fanboy a little bit, you know. <laughs> Got to get him before he retires. Yeah. Right? So how's the uh, how's the day going for you? Good, man. Uh, free practice went all right. Uh, took a little bit longer to learn the track than I wanted to, but I uh, got it down and uh, ended up like second free practice, which doesn't really matter. It's free practice, but still good to have a confidence, a little boost. And then um, for that first time practice, got out there and uh, put some laps together. I knew I could do better, and then uh, there was actually a red flag, so I uh, just kind of regrouped and. Um, 
got took off first and then uh, just hammered down a lap and I went up on top of the leaderboard for a little bit and uh, the last lap got passed by a couple guys so I ended up third so kind of close to where I want to be you know got to drop a few tens got to hit the whoops a little bit better and then uh, that, that second uh, there's a all, or all the way over triple triple and I'm not hitting the second triple before the finish so I got to hit that and uh, I'll be where I need to be you made a big time so what's one key thing for uh, getting in the main event this weekend? Uh, for sure, start, you know, and then just putting in your laps. The track is pretty technical, so uh, it'll be uh, putting in your laps and staying solid and stay free and a good start. Yeah. And the loops. Of course, you got to hit the loops. I suck at loops, so I just got to hammer down. <laughs> Like I'm geeking, man. I never thought I'd be close that close to these riders. So seeing the size of the track, the size of the jumps, the size of the whoops, you know, all that stuff. They look so much smaller on TV, and that's the only access I've had other than local tracks. But I'm still, you know, up in the stands, far away from them. So actually being on the track and seeing the size of the track, that was uh, a new experience for me. That was uh, a little bit shocking. Definitely tell them to sign up. Uh, I would tell them have a game plan. You know exactly what you want to get out of it. Um, so that way, when you get here, you know exactly which direction they need to point you in, so you can make as many contacts as possible. Because you're down here, elbow to elbow with everybody in this sport. So anybody that you want to get connected to, they're down here. So if you got a game plan when you come in, knock it out.
No, no worries. You want to skip that one? Yeah, well, let, give me a minute. Okay. About it. You are the worst person in the world. <laughs> huh? <laughs>